Inside was a cluster of pearls, the biggest that anyone had ever seen, huge and, and beautiful. So beautiful you can't imagine. She has to be here for my party. You made a Reg Davies promise. Where's the money? The envelope you took had $300 in it. after it in hospital. Well, I could still feel the ocean star on my hand. It's here until I can put the real one in its place. Is everyone clear on what to do with their activity sheet? Yes, Miss Dennis. Now, don't forget to look for your entry for the Gifts from the Sea competition. The winner is going to be presented with a youth tourism medallion by the owner of the resort, Mr Reg Davies. And have their picture taken with them there. And $200. Thank you, Carla. Go to it, people. This should win the $200. Wood doesn't grow in the ocean, Trent. But the ocean star did. This is a carving of the most beautiful pearl ever found. Maybe the real pearl would win the competition, but not that piece of old rubbish. The ocean star was lost in a cyclone. Clive from the museum told me all about it. And you think it's real? I'm sure it's real. It can't be. <laughs> it is. It's the ocean star. You know about it too? Everyone knows about it. It's one of old Swamby's fairy stories. But. Trent reckons you'll find it. I never said that. But if I wanted to, I could. <laughs> As if. If Trent says he'll find it, he will. Carla. Don't you want to? Of course I do. Good, that's settled. You'll find it, I'll help you and share it. Checking the turtle this morning? I thought you did. Wasn't it Gemma's turn? Okay, I'm calling a meeting at the Rock Hall tomorrow to organise a roster. We all have to be responsible for the turtle. Of oh, course. Gemma? <laughs> <laughs> Must be the new look in the city. Mud on your bum. <laughs> I think they're so smart. <laughs> But I'm smarter. Trent bought that stupid pearl story. <laughs> He's too dumb to know Swampy lies about everything. Come quick, something awful's happened. We're not gonna fall for this, are we? He saw something shiny out in the mud. I told him it was too far out. I told him. Trent, you're not going anywhere. Yes, I am. Not until you clean up that bathroom. What were you doing in there? I using a mud pack. Great for the sits. You should try one. Oh. 
I don't have zits. I can't. No, no zits. Never any zits. What really happened? Ah, uh, mud fight on the school excursion. Did you win? Uh, let's just say it was a draw. But uh, I will win the bet I made with them. You better. Uh, I'm doing my best. I was just off looking for them right now. Looking where? It doesn't matter. But if you want me to clean the bathroom, you won't have time. Okay, midget, I'll do it. This one time. Okay? Thanks. Anything to uphold the honour of the Stepan brothers. But you better win. Okay? Sort things out with your friends. But then they unsorted themselves. They all laughed when I said I'd find the ocean star. I've been searching for 40 years. What makes you think you'll beat me to it? I had to say something. They were laughing. The pearl is real, isn't it? Punch me in the gut. Come on. Right there. Am I real? I was the diver. I was the one who found the pearl. The ocean star is as real as I am. I knew it. Oh. Hurry up! What's wrong with you? Nothing. Huh? I've got to the museum to do some research. Museum? Research, something's definitely wrong with you. That said to give this place a chance. So I am. That's all. You, in a museum, next to be reading a book. Hey. Hey, yourself. You can stop putting those up. Dad's got some work for you here. Great, but I don't know the work I can get if I'm going to pay for diving lessons. You want to go diving today? I haven't got enough money for half a lesson yet. It's free. My mum's a qualified diving instructor, and we can lend you all the gear. Looks like I ran into just the right person. There you are. I've been looking everywhere. Let's go look for the ocean star. That's what I'm doing. Only the Pearling Museum didn't have anything and this one's closed. There's a key hidden round the back. Daddy's on the committee. Is there anything in this town your dad doesn't have some bit of? I don't think so. Where's Susie? She's the one who called this meeting. Something must have come up. That'd be very important. Okay, first lesson. Never trust the sea. She can be a cruel friend. Well, how can you say that when diving's in your blood? The sea's given my family a lot, but it has taken a lot as well. Hey, uh, is your mum trying to scare me? That's what sharks are for. Come on. Sharks? No one said anything about sharks. This is easier. Oh, thanks. Oh, 
I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> I think. <laughs> you sure you've got the hang of it? What is it? <laughs> Susie! <laughs> I hope you're not ticklish. Isn't that Susie's last name? Something unpronounceable like that. Lost at sea, November 1962. Ah. I knew, I knew I could prove everything's true. Carla? Carla? a dollar under the list price. It's the principle, Reg Davies doesn't lose. Hello, Rainbow Ribbons. I'll talk to you in a while, Henry, when you've sorted it out. I've got something to show you. And I've got something to show you, a stuffed balloon fish. If you don't win the gifts from the sea competition with this little beauty, then my name's not Reg Davies. Whatever it is, I don't want it. But I had it done specially. That's not my fault. You asked me to find you something special. That's before I found something really special by myself. Look. That's fantastic, gorgeous girl. Really fantastic. But you know, I may have seen one or two shells just like that round town before. Not this big. No, definitely not that big. Oh, this pretty. Still, Petal Princess, I think you might want to take a little look at what I got you. I like what I got by myself. I just want you to have the best entry possible. I have. And I'll bring home the prize to prove it. Because Carla Davies doesn't lose either. Their car's gone. Maybe Susie's helping her dad at the boat ship. It's not like her to miss a meeting. Hey, look who's here. You won't find any pearls here, Trent. Wanna bet? I'm gonna have to start calling you snot soon. You're getting right up my nose. Oh, where's your handkerchief? Item number one, weather reports for 1962. You'll notice some heavy cyclone activity. Cyclones? Up here? It'll never happen. Item two, port activity list. You will notice the boat called the truth be told. There was a boat. Doesn't mean Clive was honest. Item number three. He was a diver on the boat. He was lost in a cyclone when he said. Clive was telling the truth. Doesn't mean he was telling the truth about the ocean star. Gemma, he could have been. Well, if the boat's real and the cyclone's real, then maybe. Doesn't prove a thing. So, why'd you come here with all this stuff anyway? There was a man on the boat. His name was... Hiroshi Fujiwara. Maybe he's related to Susie. Susie's grandfather drowned in a big storm. I knew it. Clive said there was an argument about the ocean star. That night, the storm hit them while they were all still mad at each other. The boat, all his crewmates, and the ocean star all went down. 
Isn't this a sacred place for them? I've been here before with Susie. She won't mind. Mum says you're a natural. You just need a few more lessons. You know what? I love it. <laughs> saying that, that Trent wasn't sucked in and that this fantasy isn't a fantasy and is in fact a fact. Hey, it's the tweenies. Thanks for the dive. Here, yeah, I'll take that. <laughs> what are you doing here? Is that where you've been all day? With him? Not that it's any of your business. Well, you did miss our meeting. We were looking for you. Here? This place is private. We needed to find out about your grandfather. He and Clive were on the same ship. It sank. He drowned. Clive lived. We need your help. So we must have known your grandfather. It would be a nice memorial to him if the ocean star was real. And it was my grandfather who died for it. Finding the ocean star will be awesome. These are his things. All that's left. What's that? A padded collar from under Hiroshi's dive helmet. Clive was the one who dived. No. Grandfather would have been the diver. He ran the boat. Hey, this has the coordinates of their usual dive area. If we knew where Swampy washed up, Seven Mile Beach. Then with the tide tables, charts and weather reports, I can triangulate the exact position. And with sonar, it should be easy to find out where the ship went down. See? It was under your nose the whole time. It just took someone new to come in and find it. Here's Hiroshi. And here's the crew of The Truth Be Told. Your grandfather's on the right. Where's Clive? Little guy at the back. Why isn't he in a diving suit? There's two divers listed here. Fujiwara and Tanaka. No marsh. That's wrong. Here. Here he is. But he wasn't a diver. He was an airman. No, he was a diver. Airman. Clive Marsh. He just pumped the air down to the real diver. He lied. Like he always does. Maybe he did. But that doesn't mean... But if he lied about something as simple as that, then he's a fake. And it looks like we just proved the ocean star doesn't exist after all. Hey, Midget, you've got to try diving. It's totally awesome. Museum. Didn't do it for you after all, huh? Complete zero. You're my witness. I've given this place a chance. It still sucks. Only 11 months, two weeks and three days to go. Thanks. Spider, I don't think you really understand the importance of this. See, the difference between the 1851 chart and the 1864 chart is the greater detailing of the inlet just in there. Leo, if you promise to stop explaining, then I'll make you the winner. Well, what have you got? Ancient medicine from the sea, found only around this region, known only to the locals. A thousand years ago, that is. 
That looks just like the turtle seaweed. To new blokes like you. If you're looking for the midget, he's left for school. Then it's lucky I'm not looking for him. What's this? Boyfriend, girlfriend trouble, hey? He's making fun of everyone a Melbourne thing. Because you're even better at it than Trent. Really? Oh, you'll be crushed. It's not funny. Neither's been a new kid in school. That's no excuse to barge in and try and change things and make trouble and start people fighting with their best friends. You ever had to do it? Well, no. What about the others? Spider, Leo, Susie and I started kindergarten the same day. It's always been just us and that's the way we like it. They won't go on forever. Things change. Only if we let them. Well, give the midget a chance. He's OK. Maybe where you come from. I thought this would be my entry for the gifts from the sea competition. This is mine. Mum, help me with the man. I love branch panties. You may not realise it, but this is the biggest pearl shell I've ever seen. But that's not all. Look at these. Carla, where were you yesterday? I had something more important to do. Look what I found for the contest. It'll be your silly carving. I didn't bring it. Never mind, I'm bound to win. This shell has got such a fabulous pattern in it. And once I win, Daddy will make sure Mum's on the next plane home. It has to be. It has to be what? Trent! Turn up my entry for the competition! Bring it back now! I wasn't a dive. You can't do that. Look. It doesn't matter whether you're a diver or an airman or the man who scrubbed the toilets. This is a shell the ocean star grew in. So it's true. And it's somewhere out there waiting to be found. Watery Adventures in Ocean Star The Quest back on Monday. But Blue Peter this afternoon is very exciting. And if you enter the competition to guess where they're going on their summer expedition, well, you can find out where it is this afternoon at 5 o'clock, only on CBBC One. Can't believe that Geffen. He's so lucky. He's only done two shows and he gets to go to... Can't say you've got to wait till 5.